there you go, you see. After months of negotiation, Sky News was told to meet this car in Western Romania and to follow. The passengers wouldn't communicate or reveal themselves, and the car, a beaten up old Jeep, had no plates or any identifying features. In a forest clearing, we met the weapons dealers, armed, balaclavered, and in military clothing. They were deeply suspicious and wary throughout. On orders from the head of the gang, they showed us the types of weapons they supply. The vast majority go to Western Europe, and they boast the supply is virtually endless. Semi-automatic. These are high-quality weapons smuggled from Ukraine into Romania and then abroad. Demand, they say, is absolutely huge. The biggest seller, the AK-47, the weapon of choice of terrorists, not ordinary criminals. Okay, this is the small charger yeah. with, uh, uh, with ten, ten bullets, uh -huh. and they, they are with thirty bullets. Uh -huh. um, they're just just uh, example. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, because the, the AK has a traditional sort of, uh, the, yes. the, the, the yes. whatever, you know, um, thing it's called. Never, never, never broke down these weapons. Yeah. And the very... Um, yes, you can drop them, you can, you know. And that, that's why it's one of the most popular weapons worldwide, because it is so strong. Yeah? It's probably. Yeah, that's why, yeah. Yeah, small, you can, you can hide it. Hide it, yeah, yeah. You can use it with one hand, you know. You okay. Yeah. And if sniper, now this is that explains to us this because it's quite a specialist weapon. Yeah. It's big, big. Three hundred meters, he can miss. Yes, yeah, some the target like this, 300 meters. Right. And this, um, you can. The advantage is you can shoot the target from, uh, from fo uh, like yeah, far away, yeah. from far away. Yeah. And what is the maximum range on that? 300 meters is he's uh, good for. What's the like maximum? Uh, maximum is like 500. Yeah, but 300 you must be good. Is it possible? The, the weapons, these weapons, end up in the hands of, of what we call terrorists, as opposed to criminals. If you have the money, he doesn't care who you are. Mm -hmm. he, he's gonna sell to anyone. The increase in murderous terror attacks in Europe has highlighted the damage that can be done by military-grade weapons in the hands of individuals as well as gangs. And Europe is awash with illegal weapons. Traditionally, terrorist attacks were characterized by the use of bombs, not anymore. Automatic weapons kill more people and are easier to use. And from the fighting in the Middle East, jihadists are returning, fully trained. Across Europe and the United Kingdom, security services are on a constant alert every single day. The potential for what we've seen in Europe in terms of uh, a greater availability and use of those kind of weapons, we're very conscious of the fact that uh, that's only 21 miles away across the channel. Uh, and so we, we are uh, constantly working and vigilant in terms of managing that threat as, as it poses to itself to the UK. 1,700 euros, euros yeah. Yeah, for the AK-47. Yeah. Networks of these mafia-inspired gangs stretch from the Balkans to Eastern Europe. Virtually anything is available to anyone if they're prepared to pay. There's a going concern amongst uh, police authorities across Europe that crime gangs are now the main suppliers of weapons, not just to criminal groups in the West, but also to terrorists, both in Western Europe and in the Middle East. That means Islamic State could get their hands on weapons like this as well. And this is just a shop front, if you like, just a small truck with a, an array of guns for sale. They insist, though, they can supply as much as anyone could ever want. The gun runners said they weren't bothered by local law enforcement as the weapons weren't used in Romania and they're just exporters. Insisting we stayed for 20 minutes while they left, they told us that the next time we arrived, they expected us to be buyers. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Romania.